Hello good dear viewers, still on coordinate geometry, today we have two problems that are all related to cycle. The first question reads, the line PQ is a diameter of a cycle where the coordinates of P and Q are 4,6 and negative 2,2 respectively. We are asked to find the equation of that cycle. Well, the second question reads, the point 1, negative 3 lies on the cycle that has the equation x minus 3 whole squared plus y plus 4 whole squared equal to r squared. In this case, we are looking for the radius of that cycle. Alright, let's start with the first question. Since PQ is a diameter, let us construct a cycle first. Our first question, suppose we have a cycle like this, and it happens that this is the diameter of that cycle. We have the coordinates negative 2, positive 2. And we have the other one, which is 4, 6. This is P and this is Q. Remember that to form that equation, we need the radius and the center. Let us start with the center. How can we find the center of this cycle? The coordinates of this center will be just the midpoint of P and Q, which is going to give us what? The midpoint has the coordinates, what? X2 plus x1 divided by 2 then the y coordinate will be y2 plus y1 divided by 2 this will be what the coordinate of the center we can start with either point let me start here we take 4 for x and negative 2 for x from the other side we add them we divide by 2 which is equal to 4 plus minus 2 which is minus 2 divided by 2 then the y coordinate we have 6 plus 2 divided by 2. We simplify to obtain the coordinates of the center. This is equal to 4 minus 2 is 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we have 1 for x. 6 plus 2 is 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we have 4 right here. Therefore, the center of that cycle has the coordinates 1, 4. Next, we need to find the radius, and you know that radius is just the distance from the center to any part of the circumference. So we can find the distance from Q to the center, or from the center to P, are all the same. So let's use from the center, which is C, to the point P. So we have seen that the center has the coordinate, what, 1,4. We want to see the distance from C down to P which has the coordinates 4 comma 6. So what is the distance formula? The distance formula which in this case is our radius R equal to the square root of what? x2 minus x1 all squared then plus y2 minus y1 all squared. Right? So let's substitute. We can start from either point. Let me start from P. This is the same thing as the square root of... If I consider 4 here as x2, we say that x2, which is 4, minus x1, which is 1, whole squared, then plus y2, which is 6, minus 4, right? 6 minus 4, whole squared. Remember that this is radius. Radius will be what? 4 minus 1 here is 3 and 3 squared is 9. 6 minus 4 is 2 and 2 squared is 4. And hence R will be equal to what? 9 plus 4 which is equal to 13 on that square root. But remember that equation of a cycle in standard form has R squared. So we can square both sides. R squared is now equal to 13. Now we are free to form that equation. The equation, remember, is x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equal to r squared. All you need to do is to substitute a, b, and r squared. What is a and b? a and b are just the center of that cycle which has the coordinates 1, 4. 1 for a and 4 for b. Therefore, this equation becomes x minus 1 whole squared plus y minus 4 whole squared 
and this is equal to r squared which is 13 from this uh, relationship all right and hence this is the equation of that cycle so now let us move to the second question you can see the second question which reads the point 1 comma negative 3 lies on the cycle what you should know is that if a point lies on the cycle if you substitute that point into the equation it will always give you r squared all right so let's substitute into this equation we have x for 1 minus 3 whole squared plus y which is negative 3 plus 4 whole squared this is equal to r squared 1 minus 3 here is negative 2 and negative 2 squared is 4 then minus 3 plus 4 is positive 1 all squared is also 1 and this is equal to r squared if you add the two together you have 5 equal to r squared to find r you can take square root of both sides therefore r is equal to square root of 5 you don't have to add plus or minus because radius is a length and all lengths are positive therefore the radius of that cycle is square root of 5 thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos Bye-bye.